Hello again. In this video, we will discuss development of lateral surfaces of a cut prism. For that, I have taken an example of a hexagonal prism of side base 30 mm and axis 70 mm, which is resting on its base on HP. So you can see that this is one base which is kept on HP. This is a prism with each base side. These sides are 30 mm. A height of the prism is given 70 mm. So first we will draw projection of this prism. For that we will draw top view first because in top view true shape of the base is visible. And after that we will draw front view which will appear like this. And once we draw front view and top view of this prism, we will cut this by a section plane perpendicular to VP. So if plane is perpendicular to VP, so plane will be visible as a line in front view. So this is a line. Uh, this plane will appear as a line in front view, uh, which is inclined at an angle of 30 degree from XY line. This line will be 30 degree from XY line or this plane is 30 degree from VP, uh, HP. The section plane is passing through the top end of the extreme lateral edge of the prism. So this is the top end. This is the top edge. You can see from here this line is passing. So this section line is passing through this point. I have to draw development of the lateral surface of cut prism. So after cutting the prism, the remaining part is this. We have to draw development of lateral surface of this particular prism. For this first we have to draw front view and top view of this cut prism. For that we will draw, we will draw top view first. So top view will be a hexagon of side 30 mm. So these, these all angles will be 120 degree and there are different methods to draw hexagon. You can use any one method. You can name this as A, B, C, D, E, F. So these are all uh, bottom corner points I have mentioned here. So project all this in XY line. So this this base will visible in XY line. So this XY line, in XY line I have drawn this, projected all these points. Now these edges, this vertical edges from A, B, C, D, E, F, there are vertical edges like this. So these edges all are of 70 mm length. So this is 70 mm length. Uh, you draw all these lines. When you look from this side, A, B, C, D, these four will be visible. A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. So these lines are visible and uh, lines from E and F is not visible. These two lines are not visible. So once you get this uh, from the top corner, from here, you have to draw one line which is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. So this line is representing uh, cutting plane uh, which is passing through this edge. So this part of this, uh, after cutting the prism, this part, top part is removed. So mark all the points where this plane is cutting and these edges. So edges from A, B, C, D, E and F are cut at these different points. So mark these points. You can project these points also. Uh, when you project one, it will appear with A. 1 and A both are at same, uh, so when you look from top, both will occupy same place. Similarly, 2 and B, 2 and B and 3 and C and so on. So I marked all these as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. When you look from top, only these points will be visible. This will not be visible, so I have erased all this, so only kept 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is, uh, now this entire top part, this entire uh, section this is uh, cut from one end to a last end entire part is cut therefore you have to draw etching line in entire this hexagon from this this line so this is uh, required front view and this is required top view of the section prism now we will draw development of the lateral surface this surface this surface we will we have to draw for this we use parallel line development we know that for the prism and uh, cylinder we use parallel line development uh, you have to draw two lines from the two top ends. Two top ends I have drawn two lines. In this bottom line, uh, with I start from one point A, this point A, and uh, then mark off equal distances of 30 mm. This is 30 mm, so I have to mark different points at, at equal distances. And how many parts? You have to divide this into six parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. When you start from A, it will end with A. From all these points, draw vertical lines joining with this top line. These are all edges of prism in uncut position. Now these edges are cut. So where are these edges cut? So you can see that A, uh, A it is cut at one dash. So from one dash, draw horizontal line which is cutting uh, 
h from a here these are the h from a at this point so mark these two points as one so these two points one and one similarly from two and six draw horizontal line now two is cut at uh, at the edge uh, through b and f a six is cut at b f so two and six b and f so this is b so this point will be two and this point will be six so mark these two points as two and six now similarly draw horizontal line from 3 and 5 you will get 3 3 and 5 these two points so 3 is the point which this section 10 cut this uh, edge from c and edge from e is cut at 5 so this two from e it is cut at 5 as at c it is cut at 3 similarly for 4 this is the top edge directly you will get this d it is cutting the edge from b at 4 so mark this point as 4 now join all these points Uh, now remaining portion this this side these edges this part of the edges are uh, still there these are the edges which still there so this should be made thick and this part uh, above 1 2 3 4 5 6 this part is cut and removed this is the required development of the given solid 